St. Patrick's Day. Just came back from St. Patrick's Day parade with my kids. Uh, we're in Springfield, Illinois, coming to you this week. And uh, you know, St. Patrick was a powerful miracle worker. He uh, had basically power encounters and challenged uh, pagan priests and witch doctors right in the middle of the streets, uh, took whole villages uh, for the Lord, really took the nation of Ireland, but also uh, the Celtic Church was ascending nation. They sent missionaries all around the world. So a lot of you could probably trace your roots back to. Uh, old St. Paddywhack, and so uh, just a little St. Patrick's blessing to you, but that's not really why I'm coming to you this week. Uh, this week I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the current uh, economic crisis and uh, uh, really uh, how the Lord wants us to be able to thrive in the midst of, um, of shaky times, financially shaky, naturally shaky times. You know, this week the Dow uh, moved uh, up, had a bit of a surge for the first time really this week. Uh, the, since the beginning of the year. And so, uh, you know, you have a lot of financial pundits out trying to figure out what's going on. But, you know, as believers, we're not called to base our financial security on uh, natural trends, on the natural uh, winds of the earth. But we we appeal to a higher source of our provision and our abundance. And uh, this is what I want to talk to you a little bit about. You know, this, this past year, the Lord gave us a word about the the current economic crisis uh, late last fall when it uh, began to really shake out. People started to uh, start to see the manifestation of this, this crisis that's going on. But, uh, you know, the funny thing is this past year, uh, we were literally blessed uh, uh, financially. Our ministry prospered more than it ever has before. We, we really haven't taken a backward year since we began a ministry. Some years uh, we would see even doubling of our, of our ministry finances. And this, this past year, even in the midst of economic crisis, we've done better than any other year. Even in the midst of uh, crazy persecution and some misunderstanding at times, we, we had such a, a blessed year. And, and this is what I want to talk to you about this, this week is that, you know, um, we, we need to be a people who understand the times and seasons in the spirit. There is something of a Zadok priesthood who, who knows the times and the seasons. And, uh, you know, many, many prophetic people, they, they get uh, a words uh, at the beginning of every year, uh, you know, and the Lord speaks to us about, you know, uh, yearly trends. Um, Joseph was a person who um, he heard from the Lord uh, about about times and seasons, times of drought, times of prosperity. And so there are, you know, these principles of times and seasons in the spirit where, uh, you know, there, there are blessings, there are, are dry seasons in, 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 in a sense. I mean, this is, there, this, but this is only a partial truth. You see, the thing is that many people that they, they, they begin to understand the times and the seasons of the Lord can oftentimes uh, forget the very main thing, that there's an overarching truth, there's an overarching principle that despite the times, despite the seasons, despite the economic or natural calamity going on around us, that we are a people called to prosper because the source of our blessing and the source of our prosperity is the cross, that on the cross of Jesus Christ, the curse and the bondage of the seasons was broken. Also, the curse of poverty was broken. Now, this doesn't mean that God wants us to be greedy. He doesn't want us, you know, just slapping hands on every Lamborghini we see. But there is something of a principle of not walking in a spirit of lack, not walking in a spirit of poverty, and lifting our vision higher because God wants us to be a people who are blessed so that we can be a blessing to others. You know, a few years ago when we first began to plant our, uh, our India Children's Orphanage, you know, the Lord showed us that even in, you know, we didn't have at the time when we began this thing, we didn't even have the finances to do it, but he wanted us to be a source of blessing, to just begin to step out in faith and begin to release it. And, I, and we can um, walk back and look at uh, a lot of the financial uh, prosperity that we've walked in up to date was because we were sowing into the poor, because we were sowing into other ministries. This past year, I literally, we were able to give away more money than I kept myself in our ministry. We were able to give away more than we kept. And there's something that God, about uh, the prosperity of God, that God wants to prosper you. He wants to release the abundance of heaven, but he's looking for people who can be trustworthy, who can be faithful to handle this. Because are we going to hoard it, or are we going to become a channel of outsourcing the things of heaven? And you see, when we have this understanding, 
understanding that on the cross of Calvary, the heavens were open. That means that, you know, despite what's going on on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, despite what's going on with my career, with my job, with my paycheck, I can pull on that open heaven of the cross at any given time. This is the overarching principle. This is greater than having a knowledge of the times and the seasons. This is greater than the, the Zadok priesthood principle. This is a Melchizedek priesthood principle that we are operating not in the power of the law, but of, uh, of the power of an indestructible life. This is resurrection power, and God wants resurrection power to touch your, you know, your physical body, to touch your, your relationships, to touch your family, but also to touch your finances. And uh, it's based on the cross. And so this is the principle I want you to see, whether it's St. Patrick's Day, whether it's Lent, whether it's uh, whatever, whatever you know, time or season it is on the natural calendar, whether it's vacation time, whether it's you know, go to the welfare office time, that you are called to prosper, and, and we pull on the cross. And, and you know, the Lord gives us principles. He gives us principles on how to sow, how to reap. Isaac sowed in a time of famine. I mean, why would you go and throw your seed in the dry desert sands without a, a cloud in the sky? But, but he had faith to believe it was going to rain, and he had faith to believe that even though things were dry, he wasn't going to live in, in that dry season. He was going to live, and he was going to prosper in the midst of a desert that was going on around him. Is there a desert going on around you, or are things going on around you that you know perhaps are not the, uh, the, the level that you want to set your standard? You want to set your standard higher. And so I would encourage you, to really be tapping in uh, by faith in this hour. Uh, President Obama said something this week that actually had a little bit of truth to it. He said that uh, uh, things rarely are as bad as they seem and they're rarely as good as they seem. A lot of times we can get kind of shaky because we see things that are going on around us that may seem bad or they may seem good and we, we get overconfident. But, but there's something about placing our confidence in heaven and placing our confidence in the finished work of the cross. And out of that place, we're going to live in an abundance. Um, it, and I would encourage you guys, if you're looking for a place to invest uh, your seed, if you're looking for a place to sow, uh, uh, join with us. We, we have uh, our project in India. Many of you guys know about our children's home. And uh, right now we're, we're kind of in a push. We're, we're raising some funds and, you know, we're just kind of putting this out there. Those that want to partner with us and those that want to, uh, you know, sow into the poor, we'd like to make a, a plea for this project. We, we don't ever ask for money before we go do projects or go, you know, plan uh, uh, you know, evangelistic campaigns and things like that. We just, by faith, we step out, we do it, and the Lord follows it with the seed. If God gives you a vision, you pursue that vision, and the finances are going to come. Don't base your decisions just on finances, and that's especially a word that you need to hear in this hour. Uh, anyways, with our, our children's home, uh, this week we uh, we're, we're really this this month we've got a special offer. Those people who who want to sow in, we're, we're actually uh, getting some more land for the kids to to play, some more land adjacent to the building, and we've also been working on uh, getting this wall built, a protecting wall around the the children's home in, in Mumbai. So uh, you know we're, we're this this month we're actually raising funds for that. We have a special offer for those uh, people who'd like to be part of this, who'd like to sow. Uh, we we want to give you a, a special teaching, a special uh, uh, audio. Uh, teaching from Ben Dunn and myself. It's actually kind of, uh, uh, there's teaching on it, but it's more of a big wild party uh, uh, audio uh, sampling. You, you, you'll enjoy it. It's, uh, it's from our Gainesville, Georgia, uh, a Drunken Glory tour just a few weeks ago. We had a powerful time in Georgia, and uh, I actually prophesied during those sets of meetings that it was going to snow in the middle of summer, and we were looking at like 70 degree weather, and then like three days later, bam, snow hits Georgia, the biggest snow you'd seen since 1993. Georgia, it hardly ever gets snow anyways, but you know, right in the middle of 70 degree weather, you've got snow sticking up to seven inches in some places, and so the Lord's coming. He's releasing signs and wonders in the heaven and the earth below, uh, and the same sets of meetings, and actually on, on the audio uh, CD, you'll hear about an encounter that I had while I was in Indonesia with the the, the bloody uh, uh, the bloody passion of Jesus Christ. I saw the Lord in his in his garments of his passion. It was an intense encounter, and so I tell a little bit about this on this audio. But anyways, we want to give this to you as a gift. Those of you who'd like to uh, sew into our India project, if you go to our website, thenewmystics.com slash India. If you go there, you'll you'll find uh, you know the, the place where you can make a donation. You can sow into the poor, and uh, and at the same time you you know get a little gift from us. This uh, this fund is it's a wild crazy like I said the teachings got been done on there as well, but uh, it's a lot of fun. But uh, guys, let me tell you, this is a season 
that the Lord wants us to, to rise above the status quo. He wants us to rise above the, the Dow Jones. The Dow may be in the red, but he's going to put you in the green. This is an hour for you to be uh, accessing destiny. This is not a time to give up hope. This is not a time to, uh, to let your circumstances and your surroundings push you around. But the Lord wants you to thrive in the midst of a desert season, in the midst of drought. This is a time to sow, and this is a time to expect harvest. Guys, this is how you get out of stuff like this. If you're having a hard time, you don't get out of it by scrimping and saving and hoarding. You get out of it by sowing like crazy, so kamikaze. These are principles that the Lord has for us. So I'd like to encourage you, you know, uh, the Dow's going to go up, the Dow's going to go down, but the Lord has called you to prosper. So God bless you, and we'll see you next week. My new Electronica Soaking album, Disco Mystica, will be released next week. Those of you who've pre-ordered a copy, it's going to be in the mail soon. Uh, you know, you can go online right now, go to our music store, and uh, click on Disco Mystica. We now have available digital downloads of the album. So those of you who are just in too big a hurry to get it in the mail, order a hard copy, you want to get a download MP3 album, just scroll to the bottom of the Disco Mystica page, and you can order it right from our Nimbit store and uh, just go right into a trance. Have fun.